everyone. Welcome to Reef Tank Adventure episode number 30. And originally I was going to include this in episode number 29, um, but kind of uh, got sidetracked with all the difficulties that I had with the Digital Aquatics Lifeguard. Um, I wanted to show you this product uh, because it, it works really good. This is the, first off, this is the Eheim uh, Daily Feeder that you see here. Okay, and I've been using this for quite some time, and uh, I load this up with basically some spectrum, small fish, really kind of fine spectrum uh, food. Uh, it's available at Bulk Reef Supply and other pet stores, um, but it is great food. It is a very uh, uh, rich food that has garlic in it, so it keeps your fish healthy because they're, they're eating the garlic. And as you can see, this is the product that I want to tell you about. Now, the pumps, the, uh, the top pumps, the wave makers actually came back on, and that's a good thing because I want to show you what happens here. Um, with, with the wave makers on, you have a lot of turbulence on top of the water on both sides, and it alternates back and forth, okay? So what happens is, is with the suction cup that this uh, feeding station comes with, it has a tendency to just come loose from the glass, okay, so it doesn't work. The little bend that you see uh, in the plastic stick that it comes with, I put that in there. And then what I did is I basically stuck it into the foam right next to the clear cup that goes around this, all right? And then underneath here, the suction cup gets basically squished down by the Eheim um, uh, everyday feeder and that's what holds this from coming away from the tank wall. The suction cup won't work. Um, if you have any type of uh, surface turbulence whatsoever, it's just not going to work out for you. So what I'm going to do is uh, my chromises here, they, they love this thing. They, they get a chance to eat without competition and then the food basically falls down. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off these uh, Tunzi uh, pumps uh, and, and let you see what happens. Okay, so I've turned off the wave makers and I have those set on a timer. I have the Tunzi, um, I'm totally using the wrong name, the Hydor, uh, these are Hydor pumps here. And I have the High Door Wave Controller, which is a, I highly recommend that product. Um, my uh, Xenia, no surprise, has uh, split off. So now I have two pieces of Xenia. Uh, flower Pot Coral was getting kind of close, so I had to move it. And then I have these huge um, polyps here that I, that I purchased. And then these uh, hairy mushrooms down here that uh, it's kind of really not focusing. But, uh, okay, so let me show you what happens. So all the fish, it's amazing how smart they are. They know when it's one o'clock and they know that if the tank goes quiet and there's no waves, they start looking up here to the top. They, they, figured, they figured this out. <laughs> Almost fell. Um, I'm gonna definitely have to edit that out. So here's what it looks like from underneath. And actually it didn't wind up where I thought it would wind up but it doesn't really matter if you put it in the middle I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button to make this manually do it so they're actually gonna get fed twice but that's okay and what it's gonna do it's gonna drop it the majority of it even with it pushed all the way to the side dropped right where it needed to go and then they come up and eat it off the surface okay so the benefit of this is that um, this food is not going over to the overflow and not going right down the overflow before they get a chance to eat it. Um, some of it finally does get waterlogged. It falls so that the clown that is feeding there, he gets some of it and the yellow tang gets some of it. Okay, and these guys, these guys should be about full because, like I said, they've already been fed once. I have the slot closed down as close as I can to... Um, 
to, to basically just really feed as uh, the least amount as I can. And this only goes once a day. And it's really for the days that I'm not home. It just assures that the, the fish get at least one feeding a day. But when I am home, I feed them in the morning and then they get this in the afternoon and then I feed them one more time in the evening. So they get fed three times a day. And all three feedings are really, uh, for the most part, really small feedings. Uh, so just make sure not to overfeed. But as you can see, they have ate pretty much all that food. Um, and last time that this fed, the waves actually made it where it was straight away from the glass. Um, the problem is, is that this little stick that does go into the foam, and maybe I can fix that even, um, it kind of rotates a little bit, but the corner hits the glass so it doesn't rotate too far. But actually it would be better if it was like this right here. Um, so that is about it. Uh, very good product in my opinion. It definitely keeps the food from going right into the overflow. And I'm sure that you, for you that feed uh, food that is slow sinking food like this, and it's eventually going to waterlog and it eventually will sink. And it, actually, they're going to finish it off before it probably does. But I mean, really, you're looking at no food going to the bottom, no food going down your your uh, overflow, going into your sock filters. So uh, highly recommend it. It's three dollars is what the price is. Uh, or uh, Premium Aquatics carries it, and several other people do, but I know uh, Premium Aquatics is one, one of the company's uh, dealers that, that carry it. So please excuse me almost falling on my butt. Uh, hope you find this product review useful, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos in the future. And if you have any questions about how I did hook this up, obviously your setup might be slightly different. Um, just let me know in the comments and I'd be glad to answer any questions. All right, thanks a lot, take care.